girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing free cash this week. And guys, I'm talking about like $1,800 child tax credit, $50,000 in homeowner's assistance, $500 one-time payments, and more, my darling. So if you want to know how to get a little moolah this week, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi hello hey friends my name is Shalay, and here on this channel we discuss shopping saving and everything in between i would love to have you a part of my internet family super easy click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you every monday wednesday and friday my darling oh it's vlogmas so daily now guys a lot of these programs have a deadline of this week so be sure to listen and apply fast okay fast all right so the first thing we're going to go ahead and kick things off is with the 1800 dollars child tax credit and even the tax credit continuing into 2022 so while the irs is preparing the final phase of the 2021 payments we know the last payment will go out on Wednesday, December 15th, and you've been getting this payment since about July now, right? So the child tax credit payments go out on the 15th of each month. For children under five years old, you get about $300, and I think from like six to 17, you get $250, right? But a lot of lawmakers are like, hey, this has been a good thing. This has been helping our families. And the Democrats will like to see the monthly child tax payments continue into next year and getting your payment on January 15th, okay? So in other words, they want the payments to go out on January 15th of 2022. But the IRS has warned the Democrats that, hey, in order to make all this happen, whatever plan y'all doing, build better back, okay? Stimulus, whatever y'all need to do, you need to have it done by December 28th for logistically we can have everything organized. So as of right now, it seems like you're gonna get those payments into 2022. And then for the $1,800 that some parents will get on Wednesday, that's for all six payments from July until December. So, hey, there we have it. All right, next we are headed to St. Louis where appointments are now open for eligible St. Louis residents to go in person and apply for your $500 direct cash payments. So I talked about this a few weeks ago, but now St. Louis is actually offering in-person application assistance on this Saturday, December 18th. You can go to Community College of Forest Park and they'll be able to assist you. You must call by Friday, December 17th. Walk-ins are not encouraged. They're gonna schedule around 720 appointments that will be available for the event. It takes about 30 minutes, give or take, all right? Um, and you will need the necessary documents and a mask to participate. So the event is open for people who do not have any internet access. Also for my like seasoned seniors and anyone with disabilities as well, they will go ahead and assist you in getting this $500. Now, if you do have internet access, just go on the city website, y'all, and apply for it. You have until December 18th to get this $500, okay? Free $500, no strings attached. To be eligible for this assistance, you must have lived in the city within the past year, earn less than 80% of the area median income, have a loss of income because of the pandemic, and it's only one person per household is eligible for the payment. So if you got like five of y'all standing in there, Y'all, I can't claim that household, okay? I'm just letting you know. Now, do what you gonna do, all right? Next, we are going to head on to New York, but that is a free $500 in St. Louis, where New York now is giving out $50,000 in homeowner's assistance. Now, this is called the New York State Homeowner Assistance Fund, and it will distribute $539 million to low to moderate income homeowners. Now, New York is the first state nationally, okay, to have this approval for this. So they applied back in November for a 10 billion federal grant program. They were notified November 15th and they are the first state to receive this funding. So it probably will be coming to your state Get on y'all governors, okay? This is why you vote these people in. Get on them, get on them, and let them know. But the applications for this $50,000 will go live on January 3rd, and the program will be monitored and maintained by a nonprofit called Sustainable Neighborhood LLC. So eligible applicants will include those who have a household income 
at or below 100% of the area median income. You must be at least 30 days behind in your monthly housing payments to include mortgages, um, property taxes, sewer and water bills, along with those that are behind on maintenance for like uh, condos as well. So you can get $50,000 in the form of a five-year non-interest forgivable, forgivable loan. So pretty much every year they're going to deduct as long as you stay in that area as well. So free $50,000. Next, we are headed to my state roll tie where Governor Kay Ivey is finally, you know, opening the pocketbook. Okay, Governor Kay Ivey, where she is giving 18 action agency grants across the state of Alabama to teach job skills, available income programs, emergency assistance, as well as help people maintain or stay in their homes. So I'll list all the agencies. And now when I tell you it's all across Alabama, so don't be like, girl, is it just for Huntsville? Is it for Tuscaloosa? Is it for Utah? It's all across Alabama. Go to one of these action agencies or community agencies, and they'll be able to assist you as well moving forward. All right, next we are going to the FEMA Federal funeral program. Say that. Okay, that's a lot. But this federal program reimburses the burial and the cost of loved ones who died during the pandemic of COVID-19. But they're having a lot of trouble attracting recipients. So this funeral assistance is operated by FEMA and it re reimburses families up to $9,000. Everyone is eligible, no matter your income, no matter your nationality, no matter your status. If you lost a loved one or someone died last year, you can still submit a claim. But a lot of people are not taking advantage of these programs. So like, for example, in Missouri, they have about 48% of eligible families who have applied for the money. And then like in Kansas, it's 39%. It's even lower here in Alabama as well. So you know, I definitely want to send my condolences if you have lost a loved one on there. But to get the money, you would have to go to the FEMA's website, fill out the COVID-19 funeral assistance, or you can even call FEMA at 844-684-6333 and you can apply by phone as well. They will ask you for a copy of your loved one's death certificate, um, their social security number, as well as like the itemized funeral home receipt as well. So remember, no one from a federal government agency will contact you about this information. So if you get in one of those spam calls about, hey, did you apply? It's probably a spam, okay? You know you know what I'm talking about. They call on everything nowadays, home warranties, chiropractors, everything. All right, so next we are headed back to the $400 in car insurance stimulus checks. So we talked about this a few months ago where car insurance companies was like squeezing the money out of us last year when they made huge profits, even though we weren't even driving our cars because it was on lockdown, right? Well, now a new wave of $400 refunds are coming to some group of insurancers as well. So I think the average, I told you like a few months ago where the average refund was about $125, but states like Michigan, New Mexico, and I want to say it wasn't New Orleans, it was another state that they went and they were like, look, we're going to file a class action lawsuit because $125 is not enough. You need to pay. And so I want to say Big Gretch, you know, Gretchen, all right, she wanted out of Michigan, she wanted $675. Well, they came to some type of happy median where it would be $400. And so if you are in Michigan, you weren't driving your car, was paying for the insurance, you will receive a $400 check possibly coming soon in the mail. You can call your insurance company just to see if you're going to qualify as well. But they said because of everything that has taken, you know, went on, uh, checks can start going out now, but some of them may not go out until March as well. Okay. So keep that in mind. And the last thing that we have on the docket, my darling, okay, is for those that are in college. Now, a lot of refund checks have been going on or been being sent out to college students at the end of this semester. And those were like students that attended Duke or Meharry Medical College and even some colleges in Alabama as well, where people were getting up to $12,000 back from their college in stimulus money as well. So it behooves you if you have a child that's enrolled in school for them to check with the abuser's office or even financial aid department as well to see do they qualify for some of these stimulus checks i think on the low end people were getting about fifteen hundred dollars all the way up to twelve thousand dollars so definitely inquire about that as well and that's it darling i mean that's all we have for free money this week okay like 
I am still looking where the money reside. I'm trying to give you all the funds out here. Let me know what did you think about these programs? Have you received your car insurance check? And in order for you to qualify for today's $25 stimulus check, let me know where we can get some free money in. So drop down below. Okay, we can have fun with this or not. Okay, where can we get 20? Who has 20? Who has some extra stimulus money that we can go to and get it from? Let me know some of your comments. I think this is going to be quite hilarious. Okay, and by you just participating, if you want to drop your cash app, you could do that as well. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram if you don't do that. But yeah, that's how you can earn $25. Let me know where the stimulus money at and where we could get it from, okay? Is it is it our, you know, Big Daddy Uncle Sam or no? Nah? So let me know. I can't wait to read your comments and that's all I have. Please like, comment, subscribe, purchase my ebook and I will talk to you guys later. Later, Gator. Bye, guys.